In this video, we are going to talk about scaling Z-spheres, and to keep things moving along at a pretty good clip, I already have a nice little chain of Z-spheres sitting in front of me. So if you need to create one by now, hopefully you know how to do that. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, because all we're doing is showing off scale mode. Now, you can switch over to scale mode by tapping the E key. I know it's visually confusing because they stick an S on the icon, but that's all right. If you click and drag on an existing Z-sphere, you can make that sphere get bigger or smaller. It will feel a little weird the first couple of times you do it, depending on what applications you're coming from. Basically, you're dragging down to scale up, and you're dragging up to scale down. Okay. Also, um, unlike some applications such as Blender with certain settings and 3ds Max, uh, you are limited by your screen. So if you just want to keep on scaling, you just, you're going to have to go click on it again and drag. But generally speaking, you're not going to really need to scale up that much anyway, so you'll be just fine. Now, if you alt-drag on an existing sphere, check out what's happening. We're grabbing the next sphere up the chain, and we're scaling everybody up and down based on the location of that sphere. So it's kind of like a local scale for each individual z-sphere. That's a little different than if you, no alt, just click and drag on a connector sphere. This is very interesting. Do you see what's happening? We are scaling up and down using the parent as a pivot point. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing gets bigger and smaller, but we're scaling toward the location of that parent. Right. Very cool. If we hold down Alt and we click and drag on a connector sphere, it's very much like what was happening when we're clicking on any individual sphere. It's just grabbing the next parent up the chain and going from there. Now, I ha just a bit of behavior I have noticed, and I'm not going to try to explain it to you. I'm just going to point it out so that you can you know, see that somebody else has experienced this as well. Notice the second uh, sphere I have down the hierarchy. Mm -hmm. If I try to alt-click and scale that, I'm getting no behavior. It works fine on this guy. It works fantastically on this guy. That's even grabbing the root sphere. Mm -hmm. But the second guy down the sphere, the sphere chain is not responding. Oh, that's interesting. So if you notice that behavior, don't worry. I notice it too. Okay. And unless there are any questions... No, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I just wanted you to, to be able to see all of the individual behaviors for scaling, uh, depending on where you click and whether or not you're using the Alt key as a modifier. So that will wrap this video up. Thanks a lot.